So lately I've been getting pretty tired of the monotony of camp food eating, so I picked up this fudge brownie mix. Now, I didn't really think it through because before I left on my trip I didn't bring any measuring cups or anything like that anything like that because I don't usually try and do this sort of thing. I usually just cut up some potatoes and carrots and maybe some other vegetables, put them in some beans, put them in the solar cooker and that's and then I mix things up by adding various different types of soup to that. But uh, so I've I didn't want to try and cook the whole thing all at once. It says here it's 18 ounces. Uh, it was a pretty big pouch so I've divided it equally into three bags. But the whole box is supposed to take two eggs. Well, I can't put in less than one of an egg in each one of these pouches, so it's going to be a little bit on the eggy side, I think. But I already had dark chocolate chip with me, and I already had the graham crackers, which it does call for if you want to make one of these s'more brownies. So I thought I'd give it a go. It says the cook time is 55 minutes at 350 Fahrenheit. My solar cooker... I think it's between 250 and 300. The temperature doesn't really matter. It doesn't need to get to that Fahrenheit because anything over 200 Fahrenheit starts cooking anyway. It'll just take longer. And that's good because I'm going to be gone for several hours. So hopefully when I get back it isn't a terrible disaster. I'm kind of expecting a mess, but uh, hopefully it works out. I don't know how... I don't know if I'm going to be able to grease the pan. <laughs> so I might just skip that bit. So I mixed up the batter, got all nice and smooth, and then I asked, added some uh, chocolate chips and some bits of graham cracker. It's looking pretty good. I think the consistency is about right. Doesn't seem to be too much water. I don't know about the oil content. So now I'm going to attempt to pour it. There it is. It looks nasty. I poured it out into this rough shape of the width of my solar cooker, which is about 4 inch diameter. I should be able to get it in without too much trouble. It looks nasty now. Hopefully it cooks good. In my excitement, I forgot to grease this. So it's going to stick, but it should taste good. All right, it's the end of the day. The sun's getting pretty low. Got my solar cooker there. Let's see what happened with that uh, brownie mix. Got my little oven mitt on because believe me, it can get pretty hot in there. Close it up because I'm still cooking some potatoes. Let's have a look. Feels like it's cooked. Mm. Looks like the moisture didn't all get driven out. You can see the graham crackers in there. Looks like it's going to peel away pretty easily from the tinfoil. So I'm going to say that turned out good because it smells good. It smells really good.